Alright, in this lesson uh, we're going to graph a fairly straightforward ellipse. Uh, it's nice because it's going to be centered on the origin, so that sort of simplifies things a little bit. Um, so let's graph this one. Um, I'll probably let you graph this one. Let's, let's graph this one. Okay, so the standard form um, for the equation for an ellipse is x minus h squared over a squared plus y minus k squared over b squared uh, equals 1, where uh, a represents the, or where 2a represents the length of the major axis, the, the longest axis. So uh, so if the ellipse is vertical, if it goes like this, its longest axis is, goes um, up down, then uh, a would be over here and, and b would be over here. Uh, so we're going to do a, um, um, so we can see basically here, because a, because a squared is bigger than b squared, we know that this ellipse that we're going to graph is horizontal. Right? If this were 25 and this were 16, it'd be, it'd be the other way. So I guess first thing, look at what's bigger, a or b. Or a is always bigger than b. Okay. So look at which uh, number um, is, is bigger here. Uh, so if it's x squared over some number, y squared over some number, uh, whichever is the bigger number that's the um, that's going to be a so if it's so if it's a is below x then it's a horizontal ellipse if it, if a is below uh, the y then it's vertical okay so um, and we know this this ellipse is going to be centered on the origin because h k are the coordinates of the center of the ellipse h Okay, that's where the ellipse is centered. Um, so this is this is like saying x minus zero, uh, y minus zero. So the the center of this ellipse is zero zero. So uh, that's nice. Okay, so let's see what we can derive from this. So um, a squared is twenty five. So for our ellipse, a is five. So five squared is twenty five. Uh, b squared is 16, so b is 4. Okay, so what, what do a and b mean? Um, well, a is the distance from the center to uh, the vertex. There's two vertices, uh, which is where that curvature is, is the most extreme. Where the, um, yeah, and uh, they're also the endpoints of the major axis, the longest axis. So A is this distance from the center um, to the vertex, A again here. So 2A is the, the entire length of the major axis. B is the distance. Um, um, so 2B is the distance of the minor axis, the, the shortest axis. Um, so let's, so that should be all we need actually. So let's graph, um, Let's plot the well. Actually, we should we should plot the foci. Uh, although we don't need to, but but I'll show you how to find the where the where the foci are. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's let's plot what we know first. So from the the distance from the center to um, the vertex is five. So one, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's make the vertices red so one two three four five okay distance from the center um, to the uh, I keep forgetting what those are called there's a um, like semi vertices or something I don't know the the points the sh so if the vert the vertices are the represent the longest distance from the center out to the ellipse then uh, then this is the shortest distance. Anyway, whatever it's called, B. Uh, so we got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we can actually even just draw. This will probably help with graphing. Let's draw the major axis and then draw the minor axis uh, like that. 
and what you can do is you just you know connect those points. We can go ahead and we can go ahead and graph the ellipse just from that. Um, but I'll show you how to plot where the foci are because that's kind of crucial. Um, so if you're doing it by hand, you know, sketch it the best you can. So something like that. Um, so let's 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 plot the the foci in there. Um, and so the distance from the center to a focus is C. That's C. And the relationship between A and B and C is, is described here. So we've got B squared equals A squared minus C squared. So we can use that to find what this distance is, this distance C. So B is 4, so B squared would be... So we've got 4 squared equals um, A squared minus C squared. So this is just a handy little tool to, um, to relate A, B, and C. So we've got 16 equals 25 minus C squared. Um, so let's subtract 25 from both sides. 25. So negative 9 is negative c squared. Okay, so let's divide both sides by negative 1. So we've got 9 equals c squared. So c equals 3. Uh, so the distance from the center to the to a focus is 3 units. So we start with center, 1, 2, 3. So there's one focus, 1, 2, 3. There's the other focus. So that's basically it. Um, so I will let you handle this one. Uh, centered on the origin as well. Pay attention to which of these numbers is larger. Remember the larger number is um, is a squared. The uh, a always represents half the distance of the major axis of the longest axis. So, and then b always represents half the distance of the minor axis of the short axis. Uh, so just keep that in mind. And then um, this will be helpful that relationship. And then uh, yeah, you should be good good to go. Good luck.